Hello everyone. I have finally come to the storeroom after ages where I store my old clothes. This reminds me of a certain cell organelle inside the cell. Can you guess which one? That's right. It's the vacuoles. Vacuoles are non-cytoplasmic areas present inside the cytoplasm that remain separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane. What do I mean by non-cytoplasmic areas? Now these are present in the cytoplasm. These are like sacs, but they don't contain cytoplasm. What do they contain? They contain several other things, but mostly like in case of plants, they contain sap that is water and minerals. In case of a plant, we find the largest vacuole occupying the center of the cell storing water and minerals. In case of animal cells, depending on what type of cell it is, small, medium or large vacuoles can be found. For example, in a fat cell, we find a very large central vacuole storing fat in animals. Whereas in other cells, you will find smaller vacuoles. The membrane that surrounds the vacuole is a single membrane which is known as the tonoplast. Inside the membrane, the fluid that is present, it can be food, it can be water, minerals, uh, pigments, etc. It is known as tonoplasm. The vacuoles are usually formed from the pinching off of the ends of the cisterni of Golgi apparatus. Depending on the type of materials present inside the vacuoles, the vacuoles can be of four types. Sap vacuoles, food vacuoles, contractile vacuoles and air vacuoles. The sap vacuoles are abundant in plant cells. They are responsible for storing sap, that is water and minerals. But that is not the only thing that they store. They have been found to store food, for example, sucrose. They have been found to store water and minerals, which maintains turgidity of the cell, giving the plant cell a kind of strength and rigidity. It keeps the cell stretched and expanded so that the cell gets that strength and the plant can stand straight. It also is responsible for maintaining osmotic pressure. That is, it is responsible for maintaining the concentration of the cell and the cell cytoplasm. Sap vacuoles have been found to store pigments. On the basis of that, these vacuoles have different colors. For example, they store anthocyanin, etc. Sap vacuoles are also responsible for storing different kinds of plant waste materials. For example, latex, tannins, alkaloids are also stored in sap vacuoles. Overall, the sap vacuoles are a very important storage organelle in plant cells. The next type of vacuole that we see in amoeba kind of cells or unicellular organisms are contractile vacuoles. These vacuoles are expandable and collapsible and that is why the name contractile. It looks like they can actually contract and relax. So how are these vacuoles formed? When the cell has to store something inside the cytoplasm or the cell has to surround something with a membrane, these vacuoles appear and they surround the substance that the cell wants to segregate from the rest of the cytoplasm, separate from the rest of the cytoplasm. This is diastole or expansion that creates the contractile vacuole. Then the contractile vacuole moves slowly towards the cell membrane and when it comes in contact with the cell membrane, it collapses, releasing the substances and reforming the cell membrane. That is called systole. So these vacuoles that appear and disappear are contractile vac vacuoles and they are responsible for eliminating wastes and also responsible for maintaining osmotic potential. That is, if there is excess salt or excess water inside the cell, all this excess salt and water can accumulate inside the vacuole and the vacuole will throw it out of the cell. Similarly, wastes accumulate inside these vacuoles and the wastes are thrown out of the cell. So contractile vacuoles are responsible for osmoregulation and excretion. The third type of vacuoles are found in eukaryotes and prokaryotes and these are known as food vacuoles. Usually 
unicellular organisms develop food vacuoles but food vacuoles can also develop otherwise in multicellular organisms. What is it? It is basically the vacuole that contains food. So when an amoeboid cell carries out phagocytosis and takes food inside, this vacuole is called food vacuole to which the lysosome will attach and carry out digestion. So food vacuoles essentially are phagosomes, that is those vacuoles which are formed by the joining of the food vacuole and the lysosomes. Last but not the least, as found in prokaryotes, there is something called an air vacuole. Now these, as the name suggests, are capable of storing gases. The gases not only help in respiration, also makes the cell buoyant so that the bacterial cell can float in different levels in the water. It is also responsible for giving the cell a certain degree of strength. Exclusively found in prokaryotes, these gas vacuoles are important for buoyancy of the cell. So that was about vacuoles. Let me ask you a question and let me see if you can find out the answer. Can you give me examples of three animal cells which are devoid of any vacuoles? Let's see if you can find the answer. If you can, please send your answer in the comments below. I eagerly wait to read your comments and your answers. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Do hit the like button if you did and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button now and click on the notification bell. Do check out the full courses on our website and Android app Manocha Academy. Links are all given below. So let's stay connected with each other and let's keep learning together.